I knew I was gonna have to do this, so I took some notes. Um, <laughs> my name is Jordan. Um, I was born and raised in Washington, D.C., which is a city formerly known as Chocolate City. Um, I have two jobs. I work in a bookstore in D.C. called St. Kofa Video and Books, and I also work at Howard Law School, um, where I'm gonna start as a student in the fall. Um, so shout out to the good Africans at both of those institutions for providing me the space to take two weeks and travel to them. Yeah. Um, first, I want to thank the ancestors who protected and preserved Africa for us to be able to continue to live here. And for those of us stuck in Babylon for the time being, yeah. to come back home. Yeah. Um, that was never inevitable. The indigenous people of North America are barely holding on to their lives. Yeah. And the limited power that they have on the concentration camps called reservations um, that they're combined to. So the sacrifice of those ancestors who saved Africa from total annihilation cannot and will not be in vain. Um, second, I want to thank the ancestors and living elders who taught me who we are, that we are Africans, um, not African Americans, not black Brits, not Afro Latinos, Africans, period. And that we should be so incredibly proud of that legacy because we are an ancient, visionary, elite, inventive, exceptional people with the most incredible history of any people on earth. Um, third, I want to thank all of my elders in this group who made me feel so welcomed, comfortable, and affirmed, and for allowing me the space to be myself. Um, much respect and love my family. Accepted, thank you. Um, I found, uh, um, I found Africa for the Africans on Google, looking for an organized trip to Ghana. Um, this was obviously the best option just based off the website and Bomani's level of effectiveness and efficiency in reaching out and providing meticulous details. Um, I started looking in March and I signed up in April. Uh, Bomani told me I was the last person to sign up. Um, and I just saw the titles of the videos uh, on Bomani's page. And there was something about like kicking all the white people out of Africa. And it was lit. So, uh, also, just the name of the trip, Africa for the Africans. Uh, to come to you really need to know. Um, I listened to like half of one of the recorded calls and I knew that this was just the, the trip based off that. I didn't worry at all after that, even if my parents definitely uh, did worry a lot. <laughs> um, I sold out this trip for personal and political reasons. Um, I noticed, or I realized I was taught uh, several things. I noticed that Africans from the continent have a self-assurance that most uh, so-called African-Americans lack, most generally. Um, I realized that the reason that globally, Europeans, Asians, and many Latino people feel so comfortable heaping violence on African people is rooted in the final analysis and the fact that we are still reeling from colonization of the slave trade, um, the ever-present fact of neocolonialism, and the white Jesus effect. And as a result, we don't have the ability or the unity necessary to properly defend ourselves. Um, I was taught by brother El Haj Malik El Shabazz Malcolm X that as long as we are reliant on whites for everything from resources to self-respect to knowledge of the creator and so on, we will never ever be free. I was taught by brother Kwame Ture and retaught by those teachers he led me to, Marcus Garvey, Kwame Nkrumah and others, that all, until all African people can move as one African nation and defend ourselves against Western imperialism, we're going to continue to be oppressed at home and abroad by the system of white supremacy and anti-blackness that has tendrils in every nation on the face of the earth. Um, I said this before, but I think it bears repeating. Uh, we are not African Americans, we are not black Brits, we are not Afro-Latinos, we are Africans, period. To move forward, to liberate ourselves, and to liberate Africa from imperialism, colonialism, and neocolonialism, and white supremacy, we have got to start acting like it, and identifying with Africa over whatever nation our ancestors happen to have been stolen and brought to, or moved to chasing our stolen resources. Um, while our problems are absolutely not our fault, they're absolutely our responsibility, and it's a major step to taking a strong hold of that responsibility to come here to Africa. Um, I believe that even before I got here, that every African across the diaspora should visit Ghana. Um, I think Ghana is the gateway to African unity. Um, and uh, Zionists do this, they call it home going or something like that. Um, so it's done, it can be done. And Africa for the Africans is bringing us along that path. So shout out to Bomani and the squad for that. Um, ultimately, I'm here because they are killing us. Um, they're killing us in North America. They're killing us in South and Central America. They're killing us in Africa. And if any serious number of us are heading into Asia, they'll start killing us there too. The only way I see forward, um, and I was guided to this point, of course, by the illustrious ancestors, is African unity and armed self-defense. Um, in order to develop the type of organization, that will make such unity possible. We need folks from all across the diaspora to come to the continent and start building the bridges for others to use. I really appreciate Bamani, Pepe, Sass, Righteous, Elijah, and Kubina, and everyone else who's helped us out um, for being royalty among bridge builders. I hope this organization continues to grow because Africa for the Africans is doing Mother Father Africa's work. Um, so that's why I'm here. Um, 
and uh, I was inspired by everyone who shared today, so I just wrote uh, this poem to share. Um, I'm calling it uh, Abibi Mine, which according to our guidebook means Africa or Black Nation in Twee. As the body is a collection of cells, the body endowed by its creator with the impossible powers of life and creation, cells living and working together in perfect unity to create a higher being with one consciousness, one aim, which each of us calls myself. In such perfect unity must we, the Africans, live and work, each with a purpose, sometimes appearing to contradict in purpose, but always serving our higher power, a higher being, Africa, Mother, Father, God, who conceived and raised us, whose breath is the breath of life that powers our immortal souls. Alone, separated, away from home, we are as blood outside of the body, shed in vain, precious, wasted. Together, we are divine creation, hundreds of millions of living connections strong, one people, one aim, one destiny, one African nation. Alone, a person serving her or himself is just one among billions of humans alive on Earth, one of untold trillions of beings who have lived and will live, beautiful but irrelevant, a speck of life on a teeming planet in an infinite universe. Together, united to form a being so much larger, more permanent, more real than we ourselves, united to form the African nation, we together are rooted in infinity, destined for everlasting everlasting life, too big, surely, to escape the notice of God. Ashe, I'm done. Thank you for listening. Oh, good. 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 Good.